Our Santorini is shaking every 10 minutes on average. A lot of earthquakes. There is concern. There have been earthquakes all the time, every five minutes. It is continuous. They don't stop at all. The entire island is traumatized. You know, this volcano could go any time. A series of unexpected earthquakes has just struck near the Santorini volcano. And experts from the USGS are now closely monitoring the situation. Could this mean the volcano is reawakening? If so, what happens next could be catastrophic. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, has detected a sudden surge in seismic activity near the Santorini caldera. Earthquake swarms like this one are often a precursor to volcanic activity, and the intensity of these quakes has scientists on edge. Santorini's volcanic system is one of the most studied and monitored in the world, and it's no surprise why. The volcano has erupted in the past, and the consequences were massive. If you want to stay updated on major geological events, make sure to subscribe. We bring you the latest reports from USGS and top scientists. But what do these earthquakes really mean? Are they a warning sign or just part of the usual seismic activity? What these earthquakes could mean. Some earthquake swarms are harmless, but others can be a sign of something much more serious. In this case, the USGS is closely monitoring the recent increase in seismic activity near the Santorini caldera to determine if magma is moving beneath the surface. Earthquake swarms like the one currently occurring can sometimes indicate that the magma reservoir is shifting, which could ultimately lead to a volcanic eruption. The frequency and depth of the earthquakes are crucial factors in understanding whether this seismic activity is just part of the natural process or a precursor to something far more dangerous. This isn't the first time that earthquake swarms have raised alarms near Santorini. The 2011 to 2012 earthquake swarm was a significant event that caused noticeable ground deformation. This deformation was one of the first signs of volcanic pressure building below the surface. As seismic activity increased, it became clear that the volcano was in a state of heightened alert, prompting scientists to closely watch for further developments. Could this new swarm be following the same pattern? If so, we could be seeing early warning signs of something similar to the past event. The key question is whether these earthquakes are merely a random event or if they are pointing to something much more significant. Given Santorini's history, the stakes are incredibly high. And here's where it gets even more concerning. Santorini's past eruptions have been explosive and devastating. With each of these signs, the risk of a major eruption grows ever more real. A disaster. Waiting to happen, Santorini's volcanic history is nothing short of catastrophic. The most famous eruption of this island occurred around 1600 BCE, when a massive eruption wiped out the Minoan civilization. This eruption wasn't just a local disaster, it triggered one of the largest tsunamis in recorded history, devastating coastal cities across the Aegean Sea. The force of this eruption and the tsunami it caused may have even inspired the ancient legend of Atlantis with many theorists suggesting that the island's destruction became the foundation of this mythical story. Since then, Santorini has erupted multiple times, with the last eruption occurring in 1950. While this might seem like a long time ago, experts believe that Santorini operates in cycles of reactivation. Some scientists have speculated that the volcano could be overdue for another eruption, especially considering the increased seismic activity we are witnessing now. Could these recent earthquakes be signaling the start of another cycle of explosive activity? If you're fascinated by the hidden forces of nature, subscribe now. We cover the biggest scientific discoveries every week. What if the recent surge in earthquakes near the Santorini volcano isn't just a natural event, but something far more mysterious, something engineered? A growing number of researchers and theorists believe that the high-frequency active auroral research program, SHIARP, might have a hidden role in triggering seismic activity worldwide, and Santorini could be its latest target. AARP, originally developed to study the ionosphere, has long been accused of being a secret weapon capable of manipulating weather patterns, disrupting global communications, and even inducing earthquakes by interfering with the Earth's electromagnetic field. While mainstream scientists dismiss these claims as mere conspiracy theories, strange coincidences continue to fuel speculation. IARP's powerful radio waves are known to interact with charged particles in the upper atmosphere, but could they also be influencing tectonic plates deep beneath the Earth's surface? 
Some argue that by altering the ionosphere, HARP might be generating low-frequency electromagnetic waves that penetrate deep underground, subtly increasing pressure along fault lines and triggering seismic activity. Now consider the timing. Just as HARP experiments ramp up in intensity, we start seeing unusual earthquake swarms in a historically volatile volcanic region. Is this mere coincidence, or could we be witnessing a new form of environmental manipulation? If Santorini's caldera is being artificially agitated, the implications are terrifying. A sudden volcanic eruption triggered by an external force could unleash chaos, sending shockwaves through the Mediterranean and even disrupting global climate patterns. Of course, official sources deny any connection, insisting that the recent seismic activity is purely geological. But if HARP really has the power to influence earthquakes, are we looking at the possibility of a controlled eruption? And if so, who is pulling the strings and why? But let's look at the science. What is USGS saying right now? USGS and scientists weigh in. USGS and European geological agencies are working together to closely monitor the Santorini region, using the latest technology to track any signs of volcanic activity. They are analyzing a variety of key indicators, including gas emissions, seismic readings, and any deformation in the ground. These are all crucial pieces of the puzzle that can help scientists understand whether Santorini is headed for another eruption. At this point, experts are saying that there is no immediate threat of an eruption, but the situation is far from clear. If the earthquake swarms continue and intensify, the risk could change rapidly. The USGS is keeping a close watch on these developments, and scientists are using sophisticated tools like seismographs and GPS satellites to detect even the smallest shifts beneath the Earth's surface. These technologies provide invaluable data to detect early warning signs. So, what are they seeing right now? The monitoring efforts are ongoing, but if the seismic activity doesn't subside, it will only increase the level of concern. But if Santorini does erupt, what kind of disaster are we talking about? What would happen if Santorini erupts? If Santorini were to erupt, the worst case scenario would be a massive explosive eruption, similar in scale to the infamous eruptions of Krakatoa or Mount St. Helens. Such an eruption could have catastrophic consequences, not just for the island itself, but for the entire region. A major eruption would likely send ash clouds high into the atmosphere, potentially reaching across Europe. This would disrupt air travel, halt daily life, and create massive health risks from airborne ash particles. In addition to the ash clouds, a violent eruption could trigger a tsunami. The force of the explosion and the displacement of water could send massive waves crashing into nearby islands and even the Greek mainland. This would pose a significant risk to coastal communities and could lead to widespread destruction. Beyond the immediate physical destruction, the eruption could also have long-term environmental impacts. Volcanic gases, such as sulfur dioxide, would be released into the atmosphere, potentially affecting the global climate and air quality. These gases can lead to acid rain and contribute to cooling of the Earth's surface, disrupting weather patterns for years to come. But how likely is this? Are we actually seeing signs of an imminent eruption? How close are we to an eruption? Scientists agree that Predicting volcanic eruptions is an extremely difficult task. While Santorini is constantly active with regular seismic activity, that doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. The volcano could be shifting, but the critical signs that an eruption is near are still unclear. If magma continues to build up beneath the surface, it could eventually reach critical pressure, forcing its way to the surface. The real challenge, however, is that we don't know when this might happen. Right now, USGS advises keeping a close eye on continued seismic activity and any increase in gas emissions. These are the key indicators that could signal the buildup of volcanic pressure. As long as these signs persist or worsen, scientists will continue monitoring the situation, but the timeline remains uncertain. If you want real-time updates on seismic activity, subscribe now. We cover the latest discoveries and USGS reports as they happen. So, what's the next step? What should we be watching for? What happens next? Scientists will continue monitoring the situation closely, especially for deeper quakes and any swelling in the ground around the caldera. These are some of the most important signs that magma is rising beneath the surface. 
If the seismic activity intensifies or if there's an increase in gas emissions or temperature changes within the caldera, it could indicate that the magma is moving closer to eruption. These are the key indicators that scientists are watching for to determine if the risk of an eruption is increasing. USGS and local agencies are on high alert and will issue further warnings if the risk levels change. They're working around the clock to ensure that the public is informed as the situation develops. For now, experts are urging people to stay informed but remain calm. While it's important to take the situation seriously, there's no need to panic just yet. But what if the worst does happen? Are people prepared? How prepared is Santorini for a volcanic event? Greece has long had volcanic evacuation plans in place for Santorini, but the question remains, would these plans be enough if the worst were to happen? While authorities are well prepared, an eruption of this magnitude could present significant challenges. Some of the nearby islands could be cut off, especially if an eruption disrupts ferry routes, which many locals and tourists rely on for transportation. This could complicate evacuation efforts and delay rescue operations. Since 2011, authorities have been closely monitoring the volcano, setting up early warning systems that could provide critical time for evacuation. These systems track seismic activity, gas emissions, and ground deformation to alert officials if the situation worsens. If Santorini does erupt, both locals and tourists would need to evacuate quickly. But the speed and efficiency of that evacuation will depend on how early the warning systems can detect the danger. Volcanic earthquakes are caused by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's crust. As magma rises or shifts, it can create pressure on surrounding rocks, leading to seismic activity. These earthquakes are often one of the first signs that a volcano is becoming active, and they can serve as a warning to scientists and local populations alike. So, what exactly is a caldera? A caldera is the collapsed crater that forms after a massive volcanic eruption. When a volcano erupts explosively, it can cause the ground above the magma chamber to collapse, creating a large depression. Santorini's caldera is one of the most iconic in the world, a result of an eruption thousands of years ago that shaped the island into what we see today. There are several key warning signs that scientists look for when monitoring a potential eruption. Earthquakes are the most obvious, but ground deformation and gas emissions are also critical indicators. If the ground begins to swell or shift, it could mean that magma is moving beneath the surface. Similarly, an increase in gas emissions, such as sulfur dioxide, often signals that volcanic activity is on the rise. What makes Santorini unique is its rich and explosive volcanic history. Its eruption around 1600 BCE is considered one of the largest and most catastrophic in history, and it may have even inspired the legend of Atlantis. The island's geological importance extends beyond its past eruptions. It's one of the most studied volcanic regions in the world today, offering valuable insights into volcanic activity and the behavior of active volcanoes. If you want to stay ahead of major global events, subscribe now. We cover the latest scientific updates as they happen.